Hey guys, it's James with Auto Odometer, and today we're going to be cleaning this glass here on my 2006 Toyota Sequoia. It's looking pretty nasty right now. It's got a bunch of bug guts and, and the windshield wipers and the windshield wiper fluid isn't really removing any of it. So we're going to go ahead and clean it down like a professional. I'm not a professional detailer, but I do like a nice clean car. I think it definitely adds to the value of it. If you guys like to have a well-maintained car on the inside and the outside and here in the engine, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We try to produce videos here showing you how to keep your car well maintained as well as making some really satisfying detailing videos on the interior and the exterior. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, as well as hit the bell notification so you get notified of all the new videos. And with that, let's jump right into it. And the first step in cleaning your window glass as a professional is first you need a really good window cleaner. So I just purchased this Griot's Garage window cleaner as well as their microfiber window towels. You just simply spray it on and then wipe it off in a crosshatch pattern. Now I didn't notice when I was doing this but they had a four quadrants on the microfiber towel and I'm assuming that's so you can fold the towel in fourths and then only use one fourth of the towel at a time which would work and then you can fold it once it gets saturated or dirty. So I went through four towels on this job and then I used some of my other microfiber towels that I got from Walmart. So once you finish one side I went ahead and went to the other side and some of the more stubborn spots, I just took my thumb or my finger and really uh, agitated those specifically. Next step, I'm going to use a synthetic clay by Griot's Garage, as well as their Speed Shine for my clay lubrication. Now the thing about this synthetic clay, and this is the first time I've used it, is much easier to handle than the clay that you have to knead, the, the more typical common clay. If you drop this synthetic clay on the ground, you don't have to throw it away. And they do say it lasts a good 30 to 40 cars compared to a maybe 10 to 15 for a clay that you have to need. So this is definitely a product that I recommend purchasing. I'll leave a link in my pinned comment right to Amazon if you guys want to purchase it. Or you could head down to Walmart or AutoZone if your AutoZone or Walmart carries it. So very simple and very easy to glide across the glass. The speed shine that I used here was, the lubrication was a lot better than the, the, the clay that I've used in the past. I made sure that I lubricated the, the clay pad as well as the glass. Now I'm not sure how much contamination was on the glass because I didn't really see any on the clay itself. So I'm not sure if it really needed it. But I just wanted to make sure that the, the surface was as clean as possible before I jumped to the polishing step. The next step after the clay, we're going to polish the glass just to make sure that we have the smoothest surface possible. Now when you polish glass, you need a harder buffing pad so that Griot's Garage sold this buffing pad for glass polishing. I'm not really sure how much to add, so I'm just going to do the very common technique of doing an X and then I'll spread it out without turning it on. After spreading it out, I bumped it to a 1 or a 2 just to be able to spread it out even further. But then I noticed that there wasn't much polish on the bottom, so I reapplied the polish on the pad and did a couple passes at 1 and 2 and then did really slow passes on a number 5. And as I did the slow passes, as I made the next turn, I tried to overlap about 50% of the pad. The glass was curved a little bit, so it seemed like only 50% of the pad was actually touching the glass at any time. Once I finished the horizontal motion, I went to vertical passes and just did two passes. Horizontal, one horizontal, and then one vertical. Now I noticed that the polish, once it dried, it was very flaky and very dry. So I, after I buffed it off with a clean microfiber towel, there were still some flakes left. So when I finished the other side with the glass polish, I went ahead and 
cleaned it with some glass cleaner after the glass polish. And here's the next side, same steps. Put an X on the glass, glass polishing pad, spread it out without turning it on. Then did a couple passes on speeds one and two. And then on speed five, uh, slowed down and then really buffed it out. Once I was done, I went and got another clean microfiber towel, and this time I put them in fourths, because I only got four towels, and I was starting to run out. At the, in the end, I did have to revert to my Walmart microfiber towels, but they still worked pretty good. Once I was done or satisfied with all of the glass polish being off, I noticed there was still some flecks and flakes that I was not able to get off with a microfiber towel, so I went ahead and got some more of my glass cleaner and sprayed it on just to get as clean as possible before I added a sealant. The last and final step of this glass cleaning procedure is applying a glass sealant. All the contamination and the little particles that you pulled off of the windshield, you want to make sure that you cover the windshield with a sealant. There are some waxes that you can put on here but a sealant is a synthetically made or man-made product that's going to last a little bit better than some of those carnauba or natural based products. A natural wax spray wax might only last a couple weeks. Some of those other waxes that are carnauba based might last a month to three months. Now from what I'm reading and what I'm hearing I hear that sealants can last anywhere from six to twelve months depending on how you maintain your glass. I'll show you what the water beading effect looks like here as well in a little bit. But they tell you to add this glass sealant in two layers. So after the first layer, we let it cure for a little bit and let it haze over and then add a second layer. And at first I was thinking they were just trying to sell you more product, but I noticed that as I got to the end of applying this it started to squeak and squeal so that was telling me that the glass sealant was no longer on the pad and I was touching glass to foam pad applicator so I just wanted to I think they tell you to do two passes with this just to make sure that the windshield is completely covered in every single corner while I was waiting for the glass sealant to haze over I wanted to make sure that these windshield wipers they're pretty fairly new so I didn't want to replace them so I went and purchased some rubber cleaner from Griot's garage as well as some vinyl dressing and I applied it to a microfiber towel because I didn't want to splash the rubber cleaner onto the the windshield that I have the sealant on while it's curing so I did a couple swipes with the rubber cleaner and I'm not sure if I was gonna ever get a completely clean microfiber towel but I did a couple passes pulled off some dirt and then got this vinyl and rubber dressing to be able to put a little bit of a protection on the windshield wiper blades. And here is what it looks like right before I wiped it off with a microfiber towel. That's what the consistency looks like. At first I wasn't sure if I should wipe it off or not uh, at that point. I think it was about a good 10 to 15 minutes and I wasn't sure if it was going to change any different hazing or any different color but I wanted to get it off before it would solidify. I wasn't sure if it was going to solidify or not or just be really hard to buff off. But in the end it actually was pretty simple to buff off. I did a couple passes on one side of the towel and then flipped the towel to a clean side and did a couple more passes and it shined up really nicely. And this is the part everyone's probably been waiting for. Probably the most fun part of the video. The water beating was exactly what I expected. So we cleaned the glass, we clayed it with this synthetic clay as well as using that Speed Shine lubricant, which worked really well. We also polished it, so we had a completely clean and smooth surface. And then we added the glass sealant, two layers of it 
then we buffed it off. We also put some rubber cleaner and vinyl dressing, rubber and vinyl dressing on the windshield wipers and I'll show you what that looks like here in a sec. So pretty satisfying water beating here. Definitely going to improve driving conditions here. So this is what it looks like with the windshield washer fluid. And not too bad, but I don't think my windshield wiper blades were as good or as new as I thought they were. I'm also going to take the windshield wiper blades and pull them up just to show you what it looks like with just windshield washer fluid. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching that as much as I enjoyed making it. If you guys want to see a well-maintained car on the inside, the outside, and in the engine, go ahead and consider subscribing. We'll have plenty more videos showing you how I keep my cars well-maintained. And with that, thanks for watching.